let's compare GTS technique. This is the GTX technique card, which is the thermophile also, but prepared with the GTX files. And we follow this according to manufacturer's instructions. This is the end of sequence from Brassler. And clearly here says that if you prepare with a 25 file, you have to obturate with a 2506 to work in it. It has because they are, they are claiming that it's laser match obturation. This is uh, the tooth, buccal lingual views. These are the photos, x-rays with a 20 degree angulation, working length establishment, and then last instruments at working length, size verifier, and then uh, with aperture points. And here is the tooth when it has been finished. This is an x-ray. This is not the micro CT. Look at it. Forget about the distal for a sec. Okay? Look at the missions. One has been obturated with the GTX, uh, prepared with GTX uh, 304, and obturated with the uh, Thermafield, which is the GTX 04 uh, carrier. And the other one was with single cone and the file 304 with uh, Gura Percha 304. It looks great. Nobody can tell me that the, those missile canals on this X ray does not look good. Let me show you now this with the micro CT. And we are going from vocal to lingual. We are going from vocal to these are the sections. This is the GTX, and look at the adaptation of the good aperture point. Zero voids. There are no voids whatsoever. No voids whatsoever. Very good homogeneity. It's a constant feel all the way to the terminus. We are going from vocal to lingua. Okay? And look what is happening here in this instance. How the good aperture and cement is flowing. Now, we're going from buckle to lingua. And we use the uh, GTX obturator, which is the thermophile. It has a plastic core, and we can see here the sections. And now, my dear friends, here comes the uh, endo sequence uh, with the single cone technique. You can see on the single cone and then all the voids. This canal is full of voids, full of voids. And you're going to say, well, Sergio, look at the voids that are on the coronal portion. This is the buccal lingual. Let me show you the coronal apical progression. This is where the, the section is. Here you're going to see the uh, single cone technique. Okay. And here you see the coral trail. On the single cone, look at all the voids. This is the single cone, the cement, and all the voids, and zero voids right here. Zero, zero voids on the uh, core obturator material, all the way to the apex. Now you're going to see a middle third canal appearing right here. That's another study that we did, but that's for a different day to talk about root canal cleaning and shaping. Now, that was the coronal apical progression. Let me show you some, very briefly, some uh, steel photos. Here you see uh, on the steel photos all the voids on the coronal portion on the active GP single cone technique and no voids on the GTX alternator, which is the uh, thermopin. If we take the x ray from left to right, which is the uh, buccal lingual view, we are not able to see that on the active GP with aperture, but look at all the voids. Now, we are going a little lower in that particular canal, and you can see here. It's full of voids. That was one millimeter apical to that. And there is zero voids on the right. As you can see, uh, in the center, we see the plastic. Then we see the good aperture. We see that halo, which is the cement, and how the cement is flowing into that uh, fit. Here, again, you have the active GP. We are going down millimeters, which is full of voids. That's the single cone. And look, on the uh, obturator, it's no voids whatsoever. Now, we are going now, here will be the, uh, I think, uh, the junction between uh, middle and coronal, and look at the single cone, full of voids, no voids, look at the coral trader, no voids there, and how the material, it's flowing from that canal, it's trying to fill that gap, and it's because the hydraulic forces of this type of obturation. Once again, let's go a little farther and fast on this, they are full of voids, all the way until you get to the working end. Look at this giant void. And this is the junction between the apical and middle part of the canal, that big void. And then once you get into the apical area, in this uh, technique, single comb, we were not able to see voids, but that was only on the apical area, two millimeters from working. 
and this is the Middle Sur Canal, as you can see in this uh, section, but there were no voids at working, or three millimeters from working. And here you have, again, at the very apical area with no voids. And this is in a coronal apical progression. Let me show you on the mesial distal progression. It is clearly here. On the right, you can see the GTX series, which is the thermophile zero voids, zero voids, and how the material is trying to feel that isthmus. And on the left, we have the active GP, which is full of voids that cannot, but we do not see this on a uh, X-ray. So, in uh, in conclusion of these two techniques, okay, far better was the core obturator technique, obturation technique, rather than the single core. You see the tooth rotating, and suddenly you're going to see in cyan color all the voids that they were inside that canal with the single cone. And there is zero voids, zero voids, where is the uh, um, core obturator technique. So by far, core obturation here shows clearly that it's a far better technique than single cone.